much to spend a night with you. I was surprised that a man like him would approach me these places. And even more that he would want a night with me. So? How much? The girls told me to charge $300. Come with me, then. Hey, girl. Be very careful with that guy. The women who went with him disappeared. Yeah. He pretends to be a saint, but he's a complete demon. What are you saying? Stay alert. Come with me. Nothing bad will happen to you. When we get to the place, I'll give you more money. I needed the money urgently. Fine. My mother was seriously ill. Besides, the rent was due and we didn't have money, so I had no other choice but to accompany that man. What's wrong with you? Nothing. I'm just looking at the lights. They look very beautiful at night. <laughs> with your lifestyle, you surely see them often, right? No. It's the first time I see them. What? Did you start today? Yes, I started Why today. Why did you decide to start today? Well, for many reasons. Specifically because I don't have money. It's the first time I stayed for more than five minutes. I left. And you? Why is a priest hiring this kind of service? We're almost there. Where? I want you to obey everything I'm going to ask you, okay? Fine. Let's go. This way. Relax. Nothing bad will happen to you. I suppose you're used to all this. Look, it's already dawn. This is our room. Comfortable, dear. Relax, okay? Thank you. So, shall we start? No. I have important things to do. I'll be back in an hour. You can take a shower. There's clean clothes there, and, well, I'll be back soon. By the way, don't you dare touch anything. Do, I'll find out. I don't like people touching my things. This can't be happening. This is what I had to resort to in order to earn money. All for my mom. Mom, I'm back. How was your time at the hospital? Hi, daughter. I was talking with Father Isaiah the whole time. That's good. How are you? How did it go for you? Not good, Mom. I couldn't find anything. <sighs> Everywhere they ask for years of experience and they just told me <sighs> they would call me. You'll find something, daughter. I don't know, Mom. But, well, how are you feeling? Fine, daughter. The medicine you brought me is working well. Finally, some good news, Mom. Well, now we just have to save for your surgery. You should rest, daughter. You've been staying up late too much, and it's not good for you. I swear I try, Mom, but I can't. Find another job, daughter. It's too risky for you. Believe me, Mom, I've tried. It's very difficult. It's the only thing I can do with my limited education. Everywhere they want me to work more than they'll pay me, and I don't want to neglect you. I'm fine, daughter. I can take care of myself. Plus, with the phone you gave me, we can stay in touch. I'm fine, dear. <coughs> Mom! Mom, what are you doing? <coughs> I'm fine, dear. It's because I try to get up suddenly. <coughs> 
Mom, you have... You have a fever again. I'm fine. <coughs> don't strain yourself, please. Daughter, don't worry. Everything will be fine. I need to earn... I need to earn more money and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure you have everything you need. Oh, Mom. I swear we'll overcome this. I need to get more money. And I'll do whatever it takes to make sure you have everything you need. What you have to do to get ahead. My God, please help her. My daughter is good. She's in great danger in that job. Take care of her. What the hell is this? This is not me. Isn't there anyone to help me? This place is a maze. There's no way out anywhere. No way out of this damn hotel. What? Why doesn't it want me to search if there's nothing here? <gasps> what is this? No, no, no. Surely these are the girls who disappeared. It's a date. This was yesterday. And this number... It must be his room. room. What are you doing here? Right now, you're going to tell me what's going on here. What do you want from me? And what's inside there? There's nothing there? for you inside there. I'm going to call the police and tell them everything you're doing. What are you doing. talking about, daughter? Let me explain. What is this? Th that's personal. Give it to me. To get out of here. This is not a place for you. What is this? Cal calm down. She could be next. She needs money. The next one for calm what? Calm down, please. No, I won't calm down. What do you intend to do to me? Nothing. Look, let me explain. I what think did what you, you do to the other girls? What girls? The girls. The girls from the street. They told me that the woman who went with you never came back. Those girls? No, look, let me. I found some photos under a pillow. They all had a date. Is that the date they died? The last one even had a number of this room. And what are you... What are you going to do with me? What do you intend to do with me? Everything you saw... Everything you saw has an explanation. You're crazy. I'm leaving here. No, no! 
Wait! You... 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 No, no, calm down, it's okay. What are you talking about? You... 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 You weren't here! What are you doing here? This is my room. You were buried last night, right? Yes, the priest brought me. Are you okay? Yes, what are you talking about? I'm talking... about you. The other girls who disappeared from the street. Where are they? What... <sighs> what happened to you? Are you talking about the other girls? Don't worry. We're all fine. But the man... Do you mean... Father Isaias? Isaias. That's his name. His name sounds familiar to me. Yes, look, Father Isaias helped all of us to get out of this horrible life. I'm finally studying and I'm very happy. I don't understand anything. My mom! I need to see my mom. She can't live without me and she's very sick. No, calm down. You're still very weak. Please, let me out of here. But first, you'll need to listen to what I have to say. Yes, please listen to him. Marian, marry me and you'll have a better life. You're wrong. Are you crazy? How can you expect me to marry you after what you intended to do to me? What are you talking about? I just wanted to explain the situation. What? Father Isaias has only a few days left to live. I plan to use it to help many people. One day, while leaving the hospital, I met a kind lady. Are you okay? Are you alone? Yeah, but... My daughter, who takes care of me, had to leave her leave for work to buy my pills. Oh, I see. And what does your daughter do? Well, my daughter doesn't work. She has been looking for a job, but she can't find anything that allows her to spend more time with me. Hey, what's the matter? The thing is, my daughter has to work nights because... because of her job. I tell her not to do it, but she says she has no choice. Only a miracle could help us. What? What do you need? Well... The medications are very expensive, and the surgery is very costly. My daughter is sacrificing everything to save her mother. When your mom told me everything, I started looking for you and investigating your lives. And, well, those photos helped me find you at night. But I always left. Yes. And that's what allowed me to help other people who also needed it. And were in the same situation as you. When I thought I wouldn't find you, I started helping more girls. And all thanks to you, Marian. We all owe you one. Father Isaiah is an angel to us. Please don't waste his help. Before making any decision, I need to see my mom. Your mom is not available. Why? What happened to her? No, no. She's not available because she's in surgery. Surgery? What? That surgery is very expensive. How did you manage? I paid for it. And why did you pay for it when I haven't given you an answer? Because I wouldn't leave you without your mother anyway. You need her. And she... She'll need you too. Thank you very much. You truly are an angel. So, do you accept? But you can't get married. You're a priest. And I've been one my whole life. But now I'm dying. I want to help people. Of course, in my own way. We began to walk the streets where Isaiah had found me, searching for more girls who needed help. 
My mom was already recovering, and we were very happy despite the circumstances of our marriage and Isaiah's terminal illness. Good evening, girls. Look who's still with us. Don't worry. I'm much better now. I think I'm even much better than before. Oh, really? Yes. And all thanks to my husband. Wow. One of us marrying a priest? Now that's a scandal. This sounds like the beginning of a bad joke. <laughs> no, don't worry. Actually, I left the priesthood to continue with my mission. To spend my last days by the side of the woman I love. Oh, really? What about the others? Did you marry them too? Don't worry, they're fine. In fact, we want you to join us. Yes, we want to help you too. Come with us to start a new life. We'll support you and help you in any way we can. Mm, I don't know. Well, I'm tired of this life. I am going. And do you think there's a change for us? I promise you. Well, you'd better because I don't want to come back to this place even if I'm dead. You'll see that you won't return to this place. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, you don't have anything to thank me for. Before I met you, before I knew your story and your mom, I, I felt empty. Afterward, I don't know, I feel like you gave me a purpose to not let myself fall with this illness. You'll see that we will fulfill that purpose together. I'll be with you. Marrying Isaiah was unexpected, but being with him, spending his last moments by his side with such a noble purpose, it was beautiful. I fell in love with him, admired him, saw him happy, and also said goodbye. He passed away on a Sunday morning. He didn't suffer, he left with a smile at peace. That day I cried a lot. I was devastated because I had lost the person who had helped me the most, but I was happy because my mother had recovered from surgery very well. And we were together, in front of his grave. I vowed to follow in his footsteps helping anyone who needed my unconditional support, just as he had done for me and my mother, and he left me with one more purpose to fight in life.